release the helmet tie down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you. Two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. <laughs> Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. So you can understand that. He said his visor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes.
There's the shoot. There's the shoot. shoot now The winds out of the north, five to ten. Give my Elated God a call. Tears of joy from Mission Control. As Felix now well, Felix, approaches uh, the ground. I hear you. The winds here are out of the east at about ten to fifteen. So, so we're we're now at six thousand feet. This is Mission Control Felix's current altitude under the chute is 6,600 feet. On each direction. So he has the highest We're jump. For you, but we can't find you. Uh, the telemetry didn't work. There he is. There's a closer shot, closer shot from the helicopter. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. East. Beautiful Please. shot. I think that big car. Anybody can hear? I'm facing that big power. Okay, and the wind's out of the east. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong information. Out of the east. On your feelings, we're coming your way, bud. Hurry up, I need clear. Hurry up. Coaching her. Wind is out of the east. The wind is out of the east. Under parachute, you have quite a, quite a, your way right now. Quite a bit of control by pulling Land those. Land down and come in your direction. Wind's out of the east, Felix. Wind's out of the by east. By pulling the cords, he can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. Felix's altitude is 5,800 feet. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing. And the altitude out there, I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. Hey, don't come clear, guys. Don't come fucking clear. Luke's making the call to drop smoke, Felix. That means to Luke's drop a east, Felix. smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see. He wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Hey, Felix, the wind is coming from the ridge. The wind is coming from the ridge. No, towards the ridge. Mark Sorry. Thompson, the, wind the is technical director the ridge. of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. You'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down on the earth, safely back. Down on his 
his knees. What a shot. So he has the new record. And Mission Control shows recovery crew is at uh, Felix's location. Also, Mission Control shows uh, the balloon has been cut from the capsule, and the capsule is on its descent. So in there fast. He has the world's record now for the highest jump by far. Around 28,000 feet. So more than 24 miles up. Successful after all this training, all this work, all this time. There is the capsule being lowered. It has been cut away from the balloon. It's parachute deploying automatically, and the capsule comes down to preserve the data and the pictures that are there. There's Stratos capsule altitude is uh, family celebrating. Four thousand feet. Mrs. Baumgartner, friends, Felix Baumgartner Sr., his father, all celebrating here at Mission Control. There's the recovery helicopter very near where he landed, out to the east of Roswell. official word there on some of those those statistics it was a four minute and uh, this was unofficial as they got it in mission control four minute mission control and 22 second feet in the city. drop in free fall so that would not break the Kittinger record for that would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall and we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. So I think that's unofficial and calculated a bit differently than the instrumentation aboard his pressure suit. Feet but that looks like he probably broke Mark. Mach, excuse me. But we'll see. That has to wait. And he broke the record, as we mentioned, for the highest manned balloon flight. 